Hi, I'm Johnny Erickson Tata with a special greeting just for you because I've enjoyed a long and wonderful relationship with Rose Publishing and I want to tell you about a special series of pamphlets being offered by them. For years now, I've been offering pamphlets by Rose Publishing through the Johnny and Friends radio program. These 12-page laminated fold-outs are perfect for our radio listeners. They're attractively designed, rich in content, handy to use, and easy to give as gifts to others. So, when Rose Publishing asked me to write a few, I was delighted at the chance. And just recently, I've done a series of 12 pamphlets for Rose covering topics that, well, I'm very familiar with. Topics like making sense of suffering, understanding God's hand in our hardship, cultivating a thankful heart in a world of hurt, and many more. Topics that deal with loneliness and worry, fear and hopelessness, depression and suffering. Listen, these are issues I can speak to personally. I've lived 45 years in this wheelchair and I've experienced my share of ups and downs. But oh, the difference the grace of God has made in my life. I spent decades studying the Word of God, and I'm excited about this new opportunity to share the insights I've gleaned with a whole new group of readers, people who can use my pamphlets as study guides or for use in small group discussions. So please take a moment and peruse the titles. I'm sure you'll find a few insights that'll strengthen your own heart. I know that each one of us goes through some tough times throughout our lives, We aren't always responsible for the circumstances in which we find ourselves, right? But we are responsible for the way we respond to those circumstances. And my hope is that these pamphlets will help you find a way to give thanks, find joy, and discover renewed strength in all circumstances. I would like to thank you for listening to this message by leaving you with this verse from Romans 8, 28. It says, in all things God works for the good, of those who love him. That's right, that's from the New Testament and was written for your situation. I believe Romans 8.28 was written for you. 